Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have swatches to share with you for the July For the Love of Polish box. If you're not familiar with the For the Love of Polish box, it's a monthly collaborative box that features Polished for Days and Polish each month. And each month there will be a different rotating guest maker that will join in on the fun and contribute a polish to a theme. Each month they have a different theme and the theme of this month is Summer Fruits. The guest is Stella Chroma and this box is a pre-order. It goes on sale for pre-order for 48 hours beginning July 1st at 11 a.m. Pacific time and it ends July 3rd at 11 a.m. Pacific time. This is limited edition so you need to shop within that window. You can head over to the Polish for Days website for the pre-order which I'll have linked in the description box for you down below. The price is $33 plus shipping and they do ship within the United States and internationally. So we have these three beautiful polishes to look at today. Why don't we go ahead and get started? First up, we have Polish for Days Blueberry Kiwi. I do apologize for the lack of bottle dance. I think I was just so excited to put this polish on, I completely forgot to do the bottle. It is described as a blueberry base with gold to green to blue shifting iridescent shimmer and holographic flakes. This polish had an absolutely superb formula. It went on smoothly, evenly, it is not going to dry with any texture, it's just flakes in there, and it will be easy to remove, although you might not want to because this is so pretty. The shift on this is absolutely gorgeous. I had my hand on my steering wheel earlier, and it, half in the shade and half in the sun, and half of it was blue and half of it was green, and it was just absolutely beautiful, and the gold shimmer in there is absolutely stunning. I love this polish. I'm wearing it right now. Up next, we have Palish's Grapefruit Fizz, which is described as a juicy orange jelly that's packed with pink to red to gold shifting flakes. This polish does start off a little bit sheer. It does build to, I'd say, like 85% opacity. You're really not, unless somebody's really examining your nails, they're not going to really notice that you have nail line unless you have a very visible nail line or extremely long nails, which in that case, your results may vary. Um, this would, however, look beautiful over a similar color. I did try that with a beautiful polish that'll be coming soon to Polish Pickup from Polished for Days. Spoiler alert, you didn't hear that from me, but it pairs beautifully with an upcoming polish as like a one coat topper. But the formula on this is absolutely spectacular. It goes on smoothly, evenly, had absolutely no application issues. It removes easily and it lays flat so there will be no texture. Here you have three coats and a glossy top coat. And last but certainly not least, we have Stella Chroma's Dragon Fruit. And Dragon Fruit is described as a juicy white base with opaque black flakes and a heavy helping of bright pink to gold to green shifting shimmer. This polish had an absolutely spectacular formula. It went on so smoothly and so evenly. Those black flakes come out of the bottle with abundance. They lay across the nail. I didn't have to do any fishing. I didn't have to do any manipulation. How they're applying is how you see it. This polish is spot on to the inspiration here and it is just so absolutely gorgeous. I love that shimmer. I love those black flakies. It might dry with a slight bit of texture due to those flakies, but it's going to be super slight one coat of a glossy top coat will take care of it and it will not be difficult for you to remove so there you have Stella Chroma's dragon fruit in three coats I think I wasn't paying attention and a glossy top coat all right guys that wraps up July's for the love of polish box this is going for sale again July 1st for 48 hours on pre-order at 11 a.m. Pacific time. All the information that you need is going to be linked in the description box below. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll do my best to get the information for you. I want to know what your favorite is and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.